Hey folks, how's it going? Trizic here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to texture her bandana and Super Saiyan colors for your uh, any hairstyle you choose really. This will work for almost all of them, if not all of them, it should do. So what you want to do is you want to download GIMP, free photo editing software, I'll put a link in the description, kids do not go googling GIMP, I warned you. And uh, then you'll want GIMP NVIDIA DDS plugins. You can get a nice tutorial on YouTube on how to install that and where the plugins go because that will save me some time and you some time in this tutorial. Just go to one of those, it'll be all sorted. They'll show you what to do and how to set it up. After that, you've got GIMP set up. What you want to do is go to the hairstyle that I, from my Maxi Fusion hair, for example, that has a bandana. This will also work for two-tone hairstyles, by the way, if you want to change the two-tone hairstyle and but keep your hair colorable or whatever. And you want to change the black to something, this will work. So what you want to do is get Libsyn for his master. Here it is. Then bin. You can download that and then you can extract it and this will all be here. These are the tools you need for modding. So your Maxi Fusion here. Take the 0116D we dyt.emb file, drag it into emb pack, which will unpack it, and boom, there you go, data 0, zero 2, and data 0, 0. Data 0, 0 is the normal form of your hair, data 0, zero, zero 2 is the Super Saiyan form of your hair. So I'm going to work on the Super Saiyan one, but the same applications will be applied to over here. What you do is, open up your file in GIMP, as I have done so. Take your select tool right here, this little box, this is how you highlight the section you want to edit. So highlight the bandana color here. I see, as I have done, make sure it's all the pixels. Yep, good, good. And then you want to take the brush tool. I've set it to blue, because that's what I wanted to do. So, blue. Change your opacity down to 55.6. This will cause like this little effect. What you want to do is slowly drag it over only once. Only drag it over once. Because if you bring it over a second time, you'll get like a horrible... Well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you don't want that. You want it like this. You want to keep the shine effect that's in the background of the color here. Now, once you've got that done, you've still got this uh, brush tool. It doesn't matter. But uh, brightness and contrast over in the colors tab here. Click it. You've still got this little area highlighted only. So let's, model, let's mess it around with the brightness and see what we can get out of it. And that looks better, yep. And then a little more contrast. No, let's bring it back down. Uh, there we go. That seems decent. So that's like the color of what my bandana will be. You're going to want to play around this multiple times until you get the color in-game. How it looks exactly in-game with all the lightings and stuff like that. Because, you know, it looks fine here, but you want to make sure it's better in-game. So you're going to want to play around these settings a lot before you make a final decision. After that, take note of brightness and contrast because you're going to want to do this whole step again onto your original bandana over here because then you'll get the normal base form and keep it to the same consistency of blue. And that's what you want, it to be like a Super Saiyan glow effect on the bandana, not a complete color change. So brightness and contrast, take note, minus 32, that's mine, and contrast 30, that's just up to you to decide what you want. And a little more, there we go. <laughs> right then, so okay that. There we go, that's it done. No, that's your bandana finished. That's it, if you've done it to data 00 and data 002, you'll have this blue bandana, and that's, you've sorted, just make sure it's the color you want by going in game, checking and repeating, until you get it right. After that, I'm gonna show you how you do a Super Saiyan Blue, or a Super Saiyan Rose, or a Super Saiyan Legendary, or a Super Saiyan God, or a Super Saiyan Rainbow for all I give a crap. This is what we're gonna do. Find a Super Saiyan Blue hair texture. I have a, a DYT.EMP file you can all use in my Bardock hair pack or the Super Saiyan Blue, the Kaioken, or my Super Saiyan Rose and stuff. You know, choose whatever hair color you want from one of those. And go to Xenoverse 2 Mods. So this will be my Super Saiyan Blue hair texture. Alright. So here's the file that has a Super Saiyan Blue hair texture that I want in my uh, hairstyle and eye for when I transform. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drag this on top, load the MIP maps, yes, yes. Pretty simple here, give me back the tools, there we go. Let's highlight the Super Saiyan Blue only. 
you got all these little corners, you can make your adjustments to highlight that. Oh wait, no, in fact, highlight the whole shader. You know, you want this full effect as well. So, you know, highlight that whole, like, green bar as well when it comes to this part. Once it's highlighted like this, just hit Control c to copy. So Control c C for car, cat, and come idiot, or whatever. Control c Then hit Control z And keep hitting Control z until you're back here. That's what I'm doing, it's really quick. And then hit Control v As you can see, the Super Saiyan Blue hair texture is now in the Super Saiyan Gold one. But this is going to be a different layer. And go away you. So, there we go. Let's get that in place. Alright, I'm happy with that. Once you're happy with that, you're going to want to do this as a safety feature. So, layers, where am I looking for? Image. Hmm. Tools. Layers. There should be like a merge all layers second somewhere. Where is it? Merge visible. I'm still new to this software myself, folks, so even I get a little confused. And I will find it momentarily, and when I do, I will skip there. Because there we go, actually I find it. Image. Merge visible layers, so let's do that. Oh, control N, that's that's no that's worth noting. Yep. Let's just uh merge all the visible layers. Like that. Just for safety. And then once that's done. That will be your whole image completely ready for exporting. Because that's now a blue bandana with Super Saiyan Blue hair. Uh, for a better effect, I suggest putting that green bar also on the blue bar down here if you want a full Super Saiyan Blue effect. Maybe just, it might work out better for you, it might not. I don't know, that's up to you. But if it's ready and you're liking how it is, let's go to export. Uh, so, oh yeah, you'll want to do this before you actually uh, test your bandana as well, because you need to do this to test the bandana. It won't appear up in game until you do it. So export, go away you. <laughs> Alright, so export as. Here we go, dd 0 dds 2 I swear to bugger. Anyway, dds 0 2 export. Replace, yes that's what you want to do. BC3 DXT5. Make sure your compression is set to that. Ge do not generate mip maps. Leave everything else normal. Hit OK. And now, let us go back to the uh, originally changed her in the Maxi Fusion pack. Here it is, her pack 6. Here we go. And there we go. That's it, folks. The her has been changed. Do the same effect over here with just a bandana on the bandana slot. And. Then bring up your EMB pack again. Drag it in. Pack it. And then the time should update. Times synchronized. Yep. And that's you done. Drag it into your game like you would do any other mod into your hum folder. And boom. That's you done. So, thanks for watching folks, I hope this helps you out and you can do whatever color hairs you want now for any uh, hair mods and stuff that you want. Thanks for watching folks, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.